Hey everyone, it's Steph the Illuminated Nerd, and here we are at the water cooling phase of my new PC. Um, I've laid out everything that I'll be using, and we'll start by going over all of that, and then we'll start to install some water blocks. So we have the uh, white bits power fittings that I'll be using. I chose those because they are white and they fit with the color scheme and bits power has a huge selection of uh, fittings in various color schemes. Um, and I've got the, the flow indicator on the left, uh, which I'll be replacing with white caps. It'll spin as the, uh, the liquid uh, goes through it to indicate that there's flow. Uh, I have the Thermaltake Pacific uh, temperature sensor, uh, which will tell us the temperature of the liquid. And of course I have a Neo Changer uh, pump slash reservoir. Uh, that has an LED in it um, and that I'll be uh, using as my pump um, and uh, it's also Asus Aura Sync uh, compatible so that's great. Uh, I'll be using the uh, Cryonaut uh, Thermal Grizzly uh, Thermal Paste which is pretty much the best you can get. It will give the best performance and lower the temperatures the most and let's move on to the water blocks. So I have a EK water block mono block that's designed specifically for the Crosshair VI Heroes CPU. And I have a Fantech water block that's designed specifically for the Asus Strix GTX 1080 Ti. So moving on, I have a Hardware Labs, uh, the Black Ice Nemesis GTR 4E. That's truly one of the uh, higher end radiators that will give me the best performance. And luckily it comes in white. Uh, and of course, I also have four uh, Akasa Vegas X7 uh, fans that I can put on the radiator. Uh, these fans are, are uh, Asus Aura Sync compatible, so that's why I chose them. Uh, I also have a, uh, a fan hub that will allow me to plug all my fans into it without the, you know, the cables being all over the place. And I have some Bits Power uh, PETG tubing. Uh, it's got 12 millimeters of uh, external uh, diameter. And then I have uh, four liters of distilled water from Walmart. And uh, my little bottle to uh, squeeze the uh, liquid into the pump, the reservoir slash reservoir, uh, and a heat gun uh, that allows me to bend the tubing, and the little red device is a pipe cutter uh, that allows me to cut the tubing to the length I need. And zooming in here, we are now looking at the uh, coolant and the uh, color that I'll be using which is a Mayhem's X1 Clear Concentrate, which is a one to four ratio of concentrate to distilled water. Uh, and uh, Mayhem's uh, uh, Stain-Free UV Ice Blue uh, Concentrate, uh, and that is UV Reactant, uh, so that'll be interesting to see at the end. Now let's start installing some water blocks.
Hey guys, here's uh, my uh, custom water loop with the Mayhem's Ice Blue uh, UV reactant uh, fluid in there, and it's looking really nice. Uh, I don't have the LEDs on, uh, you know, like the case fans and the, the motherboard yet, uh, but the next video will be all about RGB, all about LEDs, all about uh, the Asus Aura software that controls all of it together. So in the next video, I'll have a, a big light show, I guess, uh, in the end. And, uh, and then from there, we'll move to uh, the final reveal of the computer along with the rest of all of the office pieces. So thanks for watching. And if you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and maybe leave a comment below to uh, let me know, uh, you know what, you, what you liked about the video and maybe if you have some ideas about some future videos. Thanks.